Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game SO. Today I've got a fun and exciting video for you guys today because we're going to be going over the Bad Avatar exploit for the Xbox 360. This is a continuation of some of the other exploits I've done videos on. They used to use Rock Band Blitz and take about 30 minutes and that went down to under 60 seconds. But now you're not going to need any additional software to be able to pull this thing off. You're not going to need a special disc or any other game to exploit. It is just basically going to be free now and that is absolutely exciting. Before we get to fire involved, that'll be a huge favor down below hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell it definitely helps us out if you feel so inclined to watch with the channel we got a patreon link down below as well but what you just saw was a real-time exploit of the xbox 360 when you see that chain breaking you are into the overall system and then you will get your keys as well that i definitely covered up but honestly, the level of improvement that this exploit has seen over time has been staggering. I still remember in the initial video I did about this, people said that it would never improve, that 30 minutes was too long, and it was basically just a proof of concept that it can never get any better. Well, now this is basically a 100% guarantee that you can soft exploit your Xbox 360 and do whatever you want on it. Just be aware that like the previous exploit, this is not persistent. That means every single time you turn the power to the Xbox 360 off, the exploit is going to be purged from memory and you're going to have to re-exploit it every single time you turn the power back on but because it's using bad avatar it's going to be so quick and free you really wouldn't even notice it's like one extra button push what you're watching right now is Sigarelli captured from this exploit running off a actual hard drive that is how easy it is to open up your xbox 360 now you're not going to need any mod chips or anything else and of course this is just kind of a continuation of the conversation we've been having about this exploit but the developers just keep making it better and better and quicker and quicker and that is kind of the funny thing when the exploit first came out some of the games that allow for it suddenly jumped up a massive amount on ebay on the second hand market that's what always happens when a game is found with an exploit in it suddenly you have a three digit game that used to be like five dollars on the second hand market so getting away from the software and moving over to the avatar that is something that everyone is going to have access to which really does allow for everyone to be able to enjoy something like this and that is going to be fun but again you, what you're watching here is footage from an xbox 360 using bad avatar to capture everything and the best part is this works for every single model out there that has been improved as well so if you take a look at the overall page you can get the files but right now a readme does not yet exist because this is still basically the first three days of this happening i recorded this video but then i took a few days to actually put it out so you may be watching it a few days later than 72 hours ago but this just 100 percent works now when it is running don't be surprised the red ring of death or at least in this instance the four green lights that you never want to switch the red ring of death are going to basically be going crazy when this is happening but that's how you're going to know that the exploit is actually working in the background a big thanks to andy d for doing the captures for this video here is this very janky xbox 360 that it keeps around just to mess around for these videos on this is what you're going to see when you're actually running the exploit it is going to be some sort of laser style show of just blinking lights maybe there's some morris code in there with a secret message i'm sure there's not but that would be hilarious from the modders to actually put something hiding in there in plain sight. I don't think that's what happened whatsoever, but that's what I would do if I actually could do something like that. And once that process is done, you can pop over to any sort of loader you want and just play around with your Xbox 360. This is going to be great not only for preservation and ease of use, but also some of the games on the Xbox Live Marketplace, which don't really exist anymore, are locked to this system and kind of the only way to play. And you'll see here again in real time, this is loading into the game from that menu after the exploit and going right into Sega Rally. I didn't do any cuts there outside of the one just moving into the gameplay. And as far as running these games, off solid state it's going to be even better than disc this exploit isn't going to have any performance penalties as far as playing the games is concerned you are just playing xbox 360 games on xbox 360 hardware you're just doing it via a different methodology and i totally get it everyone leaves this comment but video game esoteric and mod chips are so cheap why would you do this and now at this point in time because it's basically free and takes under a minute why wouldn't you why would you open up your xbox 360 and spend the time to solder a mod chip in there or pay someone else to do it if all you need to do is deal with some software it really does allow for more people to be able to get access to these features because i totally understand not everyone has the soldering abilities to install the mod chip nor do they maybe want to go out and actually kind of modify their own 360 they want to keep it stock and this exploit because it is non-persistent the minute you turn the power off your 360 goes back to a complete stock console so if you have a limited edition you can keep it that way but it soundtrack simple one time for no reason other than to listen to some Sega Rally music. But come back, I'll explain more how the exploit works and what you can do with it and how you can download it today. But enjoy!
I lied to you because I had a completely different soundtrack sample queued up in a game that is a good example of why the exploit is so important. Pronunciation might not be right here, but this is a Shadows, and it is a shmup that is basically only really easily playable on the Xbox 360, because this was an Xbox Live game, but think about how difficult that is in 2025, because we're not one console past the 360, we're two consoles past it, which to me in and of itself seems wild as far as timing is concerned, because I still remember getting an Xbox maybe like a week or two after launch of the 360, and that didn't really feel all that long ago but right now we're on series x and i'm sure in like two to three years we'll be on whatever the hell microsoft decides to call the next console because if there's one thing microsoft can't manage to do correctly it is name a console that it makes any sort of sense so you'll see here again after opening up the console it is as quick as this that really is the end result and the big takeaway of something like bad avatar is it just doesn't take that long whatsoever you go ahead and run it it's done in like 60 seconds maybe you leave the room grab yourself a can of beer out of the fridge and walk back and you're ready to boot up whatever you want and that's just going to be great as well as the fact that sometimes xbox 360 dvd drives can just have some issues reading disc they might be working but they might not be working perfectly so having something like this kind of keeps the hardware alive and there are a ton like i said xbox live arcade games from that marketplace that you can just play on 360 that can be very hard to find other places so from the preservation front it's not just going to allow you to have an easier use case of your 360 it's going to allow you to be able to enjoy games that are impossible to enjoy anywhere else. Now I get not everyone's going to be a huge Dragon Lairs fan, but this game is absolutely awesome on the Xbox 360 version, and again, it's something that can be difficult to find other places. So as far as playing all these games into the future, it just works, and I love that this is going to be very easy for everyone to pull off, because I get it. I can solder, I can install a mod chip, but not everyone can, and not everyone wants to, so software-only solutions definitely benefit everyone. But we're soundtrack sample two time go ahead and listen for 35 seconds this time and i'll be right back with just a touch more Why did I make you listen to Marvel vs. Capcom 3 music? Just because it's good and it is a good way to kind of explain that everything still just works on this because I do get some comments saying is it going to run games as well as actually using a disc or downloading them to a hard drive just from a store and it absolutely is. There are no performance penalties again and no issues whatsoever using this. I will leave a link to the GitHub below but like I said there's not a readme on the installation yet. You kind of have to be able to do this on your own but I'm sure that will be coming soon. But the Xbox 360 has just seen so much much improvement and innovation on the exploit scene in 2025 and bad avatar is the continuation of it and i feel like maybe the final version because now you don't require a special piece of software a special game out there that has that exploit able to run with the code from github so it's going to be easy and more accessible for absolutely everyone and that is 100 what matters because bad avatar just beats the ever-loving hell out of the hypervisor on the 360 and ends up winning the match pun very much intended for marvel vs. capcom 3 footage right here so definitely check that link down below and you tell me have you used any of these exploits yet or you've been waiting for an easier version because if you have been waiting this is definitely the time to jump in now it is free it is easy to do you don't need special software all you need to do is basically run the exploit wait 60 seconds and then have whatever sort of fun you want to have when it comes to the 360 and considering there's still some incredible games locked to that console this is going to be great for everyone moving forward because trust me i've got a massive 360 collection on disc and i'm probably going to move them all over to hard drive at this point in time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.